So we're going to build our Explorer deck. We are going to build it with a Johnny. Now, I don't know if two is going to be enough, but I think two is going to be enough. And Finn. So this is the meat and potatoes of what we're doing here. So let's, uh, let's find the better space lands, because I like them. There we go. But I like the I like the outer space ones more than the planet side ones. Um so let's just put the default number in here. We can fix this later. I like the ones that are from outside the atmosphere rather than inside the atmosphere. I also really love these ones from the secret layer. The the ones I'm most upset about missing are the Crimson Vow um, Eternal Night lands because I have all of these. I have the Midnight Hunt ones, but I don't have the Crimson Vow ones. And it really annoys me that I can't just buy them or find them anywhere. Um, so what do we need? We need Renegades for sure. I have the same issue. Yeah, I just wish um, they would bring, like, put lands in the stores more often. My job got really intense around the time that Crimson Vow came out, so I didn't play Crimson Vow, like, at all on Arena. Um, so we are talking about practice. So if we avoid all green or all black, usually I play Finn the Fang Bear with black cards. But if we're making an Ajani deck, then we just need a lot of creatures. Um, And a lot of fight spells, deals, damage. So we do uh, tendrils for sure. strike i do need um wild shape because this card is busted and nobody plays it so it's great nobody sees it coming um if we're gonna play white now the question is is do we play any ramp we could play death bloom gardener we could even splash black and play Leyline Prowler. Um, Gardner is a three drop. I feel like as long as we have like 20, 20 so creatures, they all have death touch. then I'm okay with everything else. Basilisk, Basilisk is not my favorite because it uh, it's a 1-2. If it was a 2-1, I would take Basilisk all the time. I truly would. Is there any proliferate in that card? Oh. 
I never thought of prolific. See, I play, um, oh, put a one, one counter on something and proliferate. That's, there's only two cards in these colors that proliferate. Interesting. Wait, there's not... Oh, I don't have not collected turned on. That's why. That's why. Bloom Hulk. I mean, a two mana two three with pro proliferate on ETB, that's really good. <laughs> never even thought of doing proliferate when i play um i have a paper artifacts infect deck and i have proliferate in that um but there's like a lot of blue stuff that proliferates not a lot of green stuff I mean, I feel like this card is just really good. The only problem is it doesn't have Death Touch. So, like, would I rather play this? Put a one. It's a sorcery. Put a one one counter on target creature, then proliferate. Everything else is a creature. Barnes Bastion is a rare. I don't want to spend any of my rare wild cards. I mean, I could do the creatures. I don't even have enough uh, bells in here yet. Um, destroy evil? Is that what I want? Enchantment or target creature with toughness four or greater. I don't think that's what I want. It's it doesn't hit the small stuff. I mean, Cursed Idol's not too bad. Wilt is also a possibility because I can cycle it. I got sidetracked. I'm sorry. I'll get back to the proliferate, I promise. I'll make a decision on that. Um, Besage is good. My problem with coming up with unique deck ideas is that there's usually like the way to do it and every other way just is going to run up and hit a wall Um, proliferate. Why 
Wanderer's Strike is 5 mana, exile target creature, then proliferate. Hotley's Raptor is a 2 mana 2-3 two, with Vigilance, which is already a really good card. And then when it ETBs, it proliferates. The only problem is that it doesn't have Death Touch. Also, Evolution Sage, whenever a land enters the battlefield, proliferate. That's a lot of proliferating. See, Courage in Crisis is interesting because if I put one 1-1 one, one counter on Finn the Fang Bearer, it escapes a lot of the instant removal. My camera's in a weird spot for this. So if I if I'm if I manage to put a one one counter on Finn, it escapes all of the cutdowns. Uh it does make it more worth the investment of a lot of removal though. The nice thing I find about playing Finn the Fang Bear decks is that People don't take it too seriously unless they've played against it before. Gonna split. Have a great night. Uh, okay, you have a great night as well. Thanks for coming to hang out. Sorry, my brain read up in chat there. Uh, Angel Bait says, what sleeve are you using? I am using the uh, Junji-san sleeves. This is the Carrion Feeder Junji Ito sleeve. I really like the Doomsday one. Uh, this one's a little Grinch to me. And then the Thoughtseize one is really cool too. Um, but I like the Carrion Feeder one the most. Oh, Angel Bait's online. You want to test out a Finn the Fang Bear deck? So Evolution Sage is very interesting. Then we're going to Courage in Crisis. And then we need to figure out our mana. So we have some protection. X proof. Next game veil. I think we turn white off. Because we're only splashing white for a Johnny. Which means we can just stick mono green. Which is very good. Um deals damage. Also, if you're unaware, um, we have a, hold on, let me get a link, a new full playlist out on YouTube. Um, it is our full set review for the upcoming set, The Brothers War. Very stoked to jump. Oh my God, that's, and find out. that's my voice. I'm so sorry. Um, that is a big, ugly link, but if you go to the YouTube channel, uh, under our playlist, there's a full set review. Restoration of a Gonjo can get Finn back from Hit Grave. Hit Graveyard. Um, restoration? That's not how you spell. Restoration? Nope, that's not. I Gonjo. God dang it. Oh, I took white off, that's why. 
Resto. Um, uh, I can't spell either. <laughs> you may discard a card when you do return target permanent from. Ew, I see. I mean, there's better return. Return from graveyard. Um, yeah, I'd rather play like Balagid Recovery. Retrieve even. Return a target creature card and one target non-creature permanent. So I can return an Ajani even. Um, Dryad's Revival is nice as well. Fungal Rebirth is interesting, but I don't think that that's necessary. I think retrieval is our or sorry retrieve is our best bet and we can put in some balagid recoveries to grave i like the ways that you wrote to grave though to graveyard sounds like i don't know if you play wow but all of the like trolls speak like they're um from the Caribbean islands, and it's it always makes me laugh. Played long ago, yeah. Um, the way all the trolls speak always makes me chuckle quite a bit. During Lich King, hell yeah, hell yeah. Um. See, there's a lot of pieces in this deck that I play when I splash black. There's a lot of um, graveyard recursion, a lot of deck tutoring. Wait, when? Oh, that's a cool art for scavenging ooze. I'm already at max cards, though, so we need to focus on what we're doing. We have 17 creatures. We don't need that many hexproofs, I don't think. We need more creatures. Creatures! I mean, a part of me is like, oh, Deathbloom Gardener's actually not that bad. But I just feel like having like a Serith would be better. Toxic Scorpion is worthless. I wish I could find another synergy like humans or warriors or... If I could play like Elvish Warmaster and make a bunch of elves and then they all get Death Touch, the only problem is it doesn't matter with Finn. Um. So 
So I want to be in like the 22-ish creatures area. This is all the stuff I don't have as well? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. There's nothing with reach, eh? Death touch, reach. Just poison tip archer. And a five drop mythic. Okay. Aggressive. Um, I mean, I guess as long as I have light spells, it doesn't matter. Master. Master's Rebuke. I feel like maybe we get rid of the plus one, plus one, and... So we have uh, turn one, Fang, turn two, Finn, get in for a hit. Hopefully we turn three, Evolution Sage. Make some land drops. Okay, we, let's figure out our lands. We'll get some dualies. That will help us We don't have any scry dualies. We have a pathway. Oh, Temple of Plenty. We don't have any. And they're rare. Well, I think we want the gain life, right? Are you in Historic or Explorer? I asked since I've found a Johnny works pretty well if you can get land off the top. Um, oh, with his like plus one ability? Uh, I'm an Explorer. Historic includes all of the arena stuff, whereas Explorer doesn't. So I want to play Explorer. Use Augur of Autumn. Augur of Autumn's really good. Um, I'm just looking less for, like, land drops than I am for other things. Um, I know there's a two drop in blue. Look at the top. To pave the way for a Johnny. Some sort of filter. Adventurous Impulse. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or land from among them. Put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom in any order. Otherwise you'll get misfires. Oh, like when you plus one? You'll get misfires or what are you? So scry or something. Yeah. Green seeker. The issue is, is that you can't, you don't get to do anything with the cards. Like if you can't, if you don't want it, you can't put it, you can't throw it away. It helps throughput. I guess I'm not sure what you're trying to get working. Like you just want a Johnny's plus one ability to be better, or? Helps to increase the value of your draw. I mean, yeah, knowing the top of your library always helps increase the value of your draw. Um...
Um, when the ETBs look at the top four, no. I mean, I could just play, uh, I could just play a couple of augers. spell would be dope in this deck but uh it's a little pricey I'm trying to stay low 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 on the curve here i only included hornet queen because we accidentally opened one um and if we could ever get there this card is gonna win us the game if we have finn the fang bear on board um We already have two cards that, two creatures that aren't death touch. I'm a little worried that we're just going to, I'm going to remove. We're at 24 lands. Okay, the lands are good. Let's take one more look at the death touch stuff we haven't looked at I love the idea like you said, of being able to have better eyes on the top of my deck. I just think it starts to get a little messy when I'm trying to include that stuff into like a fairly simple game plan. Yeah, I want to draw great. Um, more clearing the way like you want me to get to a Johnny faster is what you're saying no for his plus one reveal the top card if it's a creature who plans for crap put it into your hand otherwise put it oh okay otherwise his plus one feels bad true it does um There's no scry in these colors. Oh, there is a little bit. What about this one? Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. Whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature you control, draw a card. I'm going to be casting Snakeskin Veils, Wild Hunt, Wild Shapes, Master's Rebukes, Devouring Tendrils. That's going to draw me a lot of cards and let me scry a lot. That's actually really good. Then I just have to make sure I'm playing creatures. before I plus one a Johnny.
That's actually really good. I would like to have more creatures, though. This is nice because it says whenever a creature enters the battlefield, not whenever I cast one. So even like my Vraska creature um, will count um, if I ninjutsu in a kappa, that'll count. I am considering removing Braska for just like a few more death touch bodies. I do think, thank you for making me look this up because I think Season of Growth is actually kind of great in this deck. Um, all of my spells target creatures I control and I'm going to be playing a lot of creatures, so trying that midweek thing, heck yeah. Get that chromatic cube. There's also adversary, which is probably going to get run on. I mean, I did not have an easy go of it either. Actually, adversary is not as good in this as Braska is. I don't know. I think this is spicy. I think this is spicy. I think let's, uh, let's look at these lands again. I think I want the gain life lands. I think we can do two plazas, two sands. Which sands art do I like better though? I think I like the Kamigawa ones. Uh, actually, I don't have four of them. So let's do, let's do these M21. An overgrown farmland. That is 29 lands plus two. That's 31. So that's 19 plus two is 21. So we do two greens and... See, I wish they would just let us buy lands like any other card, but you can't just make these. And I think that's dumb. I understand it for some of them, like the secret layer ones. Like, yeah, you have to buy the secret layer to get the secret layer art. But everything else just feels bad. Okay, so we have two, six, eight, nine white sources. And we only have one white pip that we need to cast, so. I think we're probably good. Um, there's no like... Oh, wait, all the creature lands are still legal in explorer aren't they oh yeah okay maybe we need to rethink this even more um i think you put hydra in there
Minus two forests. Wow, I really don't have a lot of the green lands, do I? Do I? I just, I wasn't around for many of these, and it's like, I don't know what all of them do. I like the idea of fast wood. Fast wood fortific vast wood fortification. Maybe we do two of those and go down to eight forests. That's uh three wild cards. Puts me down to ten. I think that's juicy. Juicy. Um Yeah. We've got six kill spells. We've got six protection spells. We have 17 creatures, which isn't my favorite. Um, I feel like we, we need a season of growth on the battlefield. In a perfect world, I would have four Johnnies, but I really don't want to spend two mythic wild cards on a Johnny. Um, let's just give this a whirl, I guess. See how it goes. I did not name it, so now it's lost forever. Um... Finn and a Johnny's summer break. Xmas vacation. Finn and a Johnny's Xmas vacay. That's what it's called. Okay, Angel Bay, are you done drafting yet? What is the. What are you drafting? What are you picking? What are we picking? Um, let's go to Explorer, best of one, because we did not make a sideboard. Like idiots. So we can keep that. Can we put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield? Okay. Um... I mean, I don't really care about that thing right now. Okay. That would have been a perfect time to get uh, Thin the Fang Bear. That would have been perfect. They're up to four. They're playing green black, okay. Thin. Oh, dang it.
Okay, we're gonna full price. A Johnny. And then we're going to reveal the top card. They are searching for something. And we reveal a land. Decline. Zendikar's Royal. Okay, well, they know I have a cap attack wrecker, right? Um, dang. Reinforcements. No extra land in hand. Come on. Come on. Um I guess we just do this. Gain two life. I mean, the Kappa doesn't matter anymore because it doesn't have a marker on it. Next turn, we can uh, tick down a Johnny. Dang, an another snakes. Have we seen all of our snakeskin veils already? Oh, I should have saved that Renegade, actually. Because I'm going to get the Ajani emblem next turn. Damn. That was dumb. That was dumb. I can look at your lands too. Look at me. Looking at your lands. Oh my god. Oh damn. It's my only play. It's a shame you reject our gift. I should have minused. Should have minus. What did you draft? What did you draft? What did you draft? White, red, it's supposed to be all bombs, right? Yeah, pretty much. Oh my god. Actually, I probably could have used that land, but uh, that's fine. Oh, 
OP probably has Languish or Hook. Yeah, maybe. They got me good with the uh, casualties of war. Jesus. So much land destruction. Yeah, I mean, this is why I don't play a lot of older formats. It's like, I just don't have that kind of um, card pool. All these huge bombs. This guy's got four, six, eight, ten. He's just killing all my lands. From a graveyard? Okay. Gain a life, sure. Um, incoming trolls? Wait, if they control fewer lands then you create a four f a number of Equal to the difference? Oh, God. Him. Now I guess I make a bunch of trolls, sure. What does he get, like eight trolls? Yeah. And he has a dragon master, nice. Bring him down to six trolls. Try one. You know what? Sure. And a five. Oh my god. Okay. I'm bad at math. What's six times four? That's so much land destruction in this thing. I guess that's the point, right? The whole point is waking of the trolls. 42 backwards. Oh, okay. 42 backwards is 2d4. Roll 2d4s. That's the damage. That's a fun little deck. I feel like, you know, reverse answer to life. The universe and everything. Agreed. Okay, you told me you drafted red wipe, but I don't know what that means. What's what's your bombs? What's your big what's your big boys? I feel like this deck would be really cool with um what's that cat avatar from the new set? I can't remember now. I 
can't remember now. Maniform Hellkite did work. Oh yeah. Maniform Hellkite. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create an XX Dragon Illusion. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, again, no opening hand. Bin the Fang Bear. Normally we don't keep these, but we're keeping this one. Speed. Great, we got a life gain deck, folks. Folks. Oh, Paladin class. This is... Good thing we don't care how much life they gain. Look at all these seasons of growth. Thanks. Budski. Candle trap, sure. No land again. Okay. Can't attack. I think we just play the long game a bit. Core Celebrant, that's bad. I mean, actually, is it bad? No land again. Um, I guess we just play this out to Scry. Scry one. Oh, and of course we want to keep it. God dang it. Gosh darn it. Two lands in a dream. We have 24 lands in this deck. I get to destroy their paladin class? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We'll take that. We get a land next turn. That comes in untapped. So we can immediately play our sage. So this thing doesn't do damage? That sucks. Do we play Sage or do we play... We can play a Season of the Growth and a Snakeskin Veil and draw three cards. One land, hell yeah. Living the dream. Living the dream. Vanishing light.
Rude. Sure. We scry one. Actually, scry three, possibly. One. Two. We'll take it. Um, and then we can draw three. Um, we move to combat. We don't care about that. End turn. My hand's getting a little messy here. Um, sure. Deck of many things, okay. Pass to attackers. Do I snake skin veil on my end step? On their end step? No, I should probably protect. Oh, dang it. That was so dumb. Okay. We're gonna Vraska this turn. We're gonna scry some. For the block, good. Fighting here is more fun than in the under city. Scry some more. This season of growth is kind of bonkers, actually. Where is this fin? Sheesh. Sheesh. Gain your pity little life. Seven, draw two cards. Dang it. Claret glass. Oh no. Uh, okay, so we evolution sage. And we scry a bunch. Actually, yeah, we could take that. Gotta go see ya. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. A new oh. follower. Thank you for the follow. I'll catch you later. Thank you so much for the chats and the help. Appreciate you coming by to hang out. Hello? That sucks.
long because we're both cutthroats. Two renegades back to back. Okay. A Johnny. Nice. Nice. I can't. What did I do wrong? I don't understand what I did wrong there. I've never done a proliferate anything on arena before. Go to level two, sure. Inspiring Overseer, okay. Resolve. Yep. Resolve. Pass. My turn. So, we want to Evolution Sage. I know. Actually, that would be good. Confirm the permanence and or submit four. Okay. So I removed all of them. Got it. game. Heck yeah. Wow. That's a lot of fun. These evolution sages, really, really cool. Um, as well as these season of growth. I've never had so much like deck interaction in a fin deck before. A lot of fun. Now the question is, is do I get ways to play extra lands? I feel like that's an interesting... An interesting angle. Hey, we got a pack. Roaring Earth and Orochi Merge Keeper are our rares, and we get an Icon. Actually, that's a good, good pack right there. Let's take a look. Um, let's take a little look. See. Um, play additional land. So scale the heights is interesting. We could just do druid class though. Azusa's is also interesting. Asusa's is interesting because you have to, like, plan it out. You can't play it until you're ready to play that extra land. Whereas Druid class, I can just always play extra land. I think we take, like, Vastwood out. Put two more Sages in.
We also need destruction. Destroy. We need like return. Return to nature is actually probably the best. Cursed Idol would be the best if it was instant speed, but it's not. Um, song is just going hard. Destroy all enchantments? I don't want to do that. Naturalize is pretty good. Um, I think the only real difference between that and like return to nature is return to nature. I can exile something from a graveyard. So if we're playing against a graveyard matters deck. I'd rather have the return to nature. Status and statues also fun. I think we just do the uh, return to nature's though. We need to get rid of some stuff. I think we maybe we just stay at two sages. All sages. Um. We've also never gotten to cast Hornet Queen. <laughs> We're still only at 17 creatures. If we do go up to 14, four sages, what do we take out? One tendril, one veil. One Vraska maybe? No, one season of growth. I think as long as I can get a poison counter in by turn two, which is kind of where we want to be, then um, we get Evolution Sage down on turn three. Evolution Sage is War of the Spark. That's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break go to the washroom, refill my water, make a tea, um, and I'll be right back to continue playing this masterpiece we've constructed. Uh, get up, stretch your legs, have fun, give yourself a pat on the back. I'll be right back.
Sephiroth was still within his mother's womb, he refused to enter his Genova cell. No one asked, no one questioned it there. A soldier's duty is not to think. It is to protect the men who think for them. The men like me. <laughs> my love for science surpasses that of Frankenstein. Dedicated to my pursuit of data from ancient times. Complex of a god, I'm so sanctified. I birthed a one-winged angel, watch him take in flight. I've been scheming for this dream inside my brain. I'm addicted like a fiend, keeping needles in his vein. I'm insane, not a person in my life I keep away. So my fetus got Genova's seed inside his DNA. Supplied the cells like the 94 crime bill. Never ran base, I was busy playing the right field. Sister Ray touching the belt, they know it's high yield. Don't test the scientist's method, believe me, I kill. I refuse to sit back and just make do the type to put a Mako reactor inside a day woo. I'm chasing breakthroughs faster than the race crew. Jehovah's Witness, but I'm not trying to say. Okay, I have no clue what that song was trying to do, but um, there was one thing I wanted to kind of look at, and that was. I like blue. I like playing blue. And is this the copy? I can't tell which one's the copy. This is the copy. BK part two. Um, I do really like playing blue cards. I have a problem. Um, wait, what? Okay. I was like, wait, please tell me they don't. So I think the proliferate. Oh, they don't have any of the good stuff in blue. Never mind, there's no point. A lot of my really strong proliferate cards are like blue cards. Um screen change what do you mean can you not see what I'm doing in the game right now It looks okay in my preview. Refreshing. Hello? All good, okay. Like freaking out. <laughs> um, I was gonna look at the possibility of splashing blue in our green death touch deck, but they don't it doesn't seem like there are like ice fang quaddles. They don't have any of that. Do they have any of the quaddles? They don't. Okay. Um. Yeah, so that's a bummer. There's a lot of good blue cards in my... Infect deck. But there's also not... Not infest. Infect. 
There's also not a lot of infect in arena. There's no infect in arena. Which is weird. But understandable. A lot of it is old. A lot of it is old. How'd the rest of your draft games go? Did you win? Opening hand, Finn the Fang Bearer, and Season of the Growth? Hell yeah. Temple of Mount. I don't have, I don't have any way to protect Finn though. That's not great. They're playing black green. Two and one right now, nice. Love to see it. So next turn we can season of growth. Grim call. Okay. No attacks. Um I feel like we should just remove Grimclaw though. Make that a bit easier. Alright. Not my favorite, but your bow. Okay. A master's rebuke. Okay. So I think we season of growth. Play a land and then master's rebuke. Got a four count on him. Next turn we can the Sage and Botanical Plaza. Should we play Evolving Wilds? If we're playing Landfall Triggers, we should probably play some land. Some uh, extra land shenanigans. Nissa? What the fuck does this do? And my will reign supreme. Gets a loyalty for every land that enters. Untap land you control, you may have it become sure. The world will shake you loose. Kappa Tech Wrecker. Okay. So we Evolution Sage. Dry one. I don't want another one. And then we Botanical Plaza. Unmark these. Oh, no. And then Fang of Shigeki. Done. Um... See what you got. Seven. We got you to seven. Landfall, put a counter on it. V. 
Vivian. Okay. Create a 3 3 beast. Okay. Oh, we're not going to be drawing a land next turn. I'd like you to meet my friend. Damn. Stumpy. Actually, if we sneak skin veil or fin the fang bearer pre combat. Oh, well, that sucks now. I guess we snakes can veil it now. Draw a card. Yeah. Then we can renegade. Um, oh god, I don't want another one. I just want the land. I just want the land. Are they going to be able to make enough blockers next turn? They only need three blockers. Nice. You're gonna do that free combat? The land is savage and defiant. Okay, so you're swinging. So you're swinging. Sure. Oh, oh boy. You're swinging big. Or we're not swinging. You tapped your creature land. Diversity is our strength. Combat. And we draw a season of growth. Huh. That's not going to do it. I mean, I guess we just force their hand, right? Force their hand. I can't believe we didn't draw land there. Two and two, nice. Just a slug fest. That's good. Good old fashioned magic. Okay, so now I have to block with Finn. But I don't think they're going to swing this turn. I wish they would make their decisions a little bit faster. Okay. Okay.
Okay. Take four. And we gotta land. That's gonna get us to eight. We can draw. Hmm. Good game. Just attack. Okay, we're not. That's fine too. That's fine too. Not bad. We almost got that one. Um, we want to look at our lands. Lands. Um, uh, lands. Uh, forest plains, yes. Forest plains, forest plains. We want... Evolving wilds. Swamp Forest Mountain, no. So I think we go down to one Igonjo. Wait, we were playing with 65 cards in our hand? No, we weren't. We just added all these lands. My bad. So 22 lands and we have four search lands. Yeah. I think if we can get double, multiple land drop triggers. Um, I think that's pretty fun. We did not add I feel like okay, if we remove this and add druid class that gets us free double land triggers anyway. So that's numerous three and two, hell yeah. God, I wish I could just watch. I want to watch you play. I want to watch. All right. Black card BR is our opponent's name. We have two ish lands and an evolution sage. And a Finn and an Ajani. That's a pretty good keep, actually. And we draw planes. Nice. Go Shintai. Am I playing a Shrine deck right now? Okay, so what's the play? I don't want to play Thin out until I have a way to protect it. So we're going to Balaged tapped. And then on turn three, we can Thin and hold up Snakeskin Veil. 
Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on it. Sure. So now we can play Finn. End turn. Okay. Yeah. So they're playing five color shrines. You do whatever you want to do. Put some counters on there. Okay. So what we're going to do first is attack with Finn. No damage. Okay. Then we're going to play Evolution Sage and Broker's Hideout. going to find our forest. Problem being that we did not leave mana up for Snakeskin Veil. Sure. Um, okay. So now the question is, I'm going to Evolving Wilds. Submit one. I'm going to attack with Finn. Um, damage, sure. Well, then I'm going to Kappa and hold up Snakeskin Veil, passing my turn. Sure, have one free card. Two? Oh, this counts as a shrine. My bad. Yep, I have two free cards. <laughs> Whoops. On their end step, I crack Evolving Wilds. I put some to six poison. Which means they have to block Kappa and Finn next turn. Sure. Jukai Naturalist, sure. Get to double up on Kappa's ability too? That's awesome. Um hmm. I want to play a Johnny. But I also want to I 
do that. This is turned like normally my Finn the Fang Bear deck is kind of just grindy. But this has turned into like an actual mechanical deck. Um sure. Your things die. And then I just play Renegade and hold up Snakeskin Veil again. Draw an extra card. Look at this guy has like 10 cards in his hand. Also, their username is BlackCardBR, and black is the only color they're not playing. There's lots of good shrines in black. Go Shintai, sure. Resolve it. And draw a card? That's cool. Sure. Sure. Wild shape. Okay, interesting. So we're just gonna go immediately to um attackers. They're really worried about the cap attack wrecker. You have to block two of them. Yeah, okay, you wanna... You just lose then. You lose, good sir. Okay, this is very interesting. Oh, excuse me. Very, very interesting. What time is it? It's 7.30? Oh yeah, the Canucks game is on. I forgot. Let's see how the losing squad is doing. 5-2 final for Montreal. Dang. We were actually one win away from being in a playoff position. I know it's like a dozen games into the season or whatever, but I think it's funny that everyone was freaking out about how bad we started. Um, and it turns out we're a lot closer than people think. A lot closer than people think. I notice Angel Bay is no longer online, so... They either rage quit or they did a good job and left.
Okay, nobody's playing Explorer right now, I see. Two lands, Snakeskin Veil, three lands, and an Evolution Sage. Oh, that got worse somehow. Um, I guess we can keep it and ship, um, a retrieve. I'm on the play. I never win dice rolls in arena. Opponent, hello. And Thatcher, Thatcher Demko's not having a good go of it. Oh, okay. I don't want to wait around for someone mulliganing to six and keeping a bad hand at six. I'm not going to wait around for you. I ain't about it. Um, should we play some deep rock? I wonder if Angel Bait's up for playing some deep rock. Let's play one more magic game and then... I know it's getting pretty late for them. Druid class, two fins. That's a keep. Johnny's welcome. Sure. I am not gonna care about your... land or your life gain situation, good sir. Angel spells cost two less to cast. Okay. I think we just get rid of that. Two more hits. Two more. Get a botanical plaza. Um, I guess we can just play this. Sure. GG. That's someone not reading the card. <laughs> Gotta read the card. <laughs> 